God himself is better together. This is a simple yet real crucial theological truth. In fact, it explains why the great collaboration is so very important. It also explains why we're better together. Let me explain it again. God himself is better together. If you look at the start of scripture, you literally see this in the first verses of Genesis. We're told that it was God who created us and whose image we are created. And he existed in togetherness from the very beginning of time. And it's this same God who has always existed in togetherness and he invites us to do life together with him. At the very beginning of scripture, literally the first verses of Genesis, we're told that the God who created us and whose image we are created has existed in togetherness from the very beginning. And this same God who has always existed in togetherness, he invites us to do life together in him. We see in the first three verses of Genesis this togetherness. Genesis 1.1, in the beginning was God. Genesis 1.2, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Genesis 1.3, and God said and spoke everything into creation. And God creates, and it says that everything was good. And the Spirit of God and God and the Word of God were there together. And everything that God creates, he speaks of life and goodness. And then God reveals more of himself as he goes. Genesis 1.26, then God said, let us make mankind in our image. Us, our. And Genesis 1 isn't the only place we see this in scripture. Go to 1 John, you know it. It says, in the beginning was the word. And remember in Genesis 1, God speaks, and in John 1, we learn that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is not an it, the Word is a he. We see that in the very beginning of the Gospel of John. He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that Life was the light of all people. And then a few verses later, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. This word that was with God and was God from the beginning becomes human and dwells among us. And he took the name of Jesus. So from all eternity, from from the very beginning, the Father and the Son and the Spirit, they've been glorifying each other. They have this unself centered relationship that revolves around each other. Let me recap what I'm trying to say here because it's important. God exists in a community of togetherness. God creates in a community of togetherness. God in Christ invites you to be together with him and God in Christ invites you to create together with him. Like you, I have many spiritual disciplines, and one of the ones that may not be too normal is that I like to look at old paintings. I've always loved paintings, and I like to look at paintings of the life of Jesus and just meditate on them. And one of my favorite is called The Crucifixion, and it's painted in the 15th century by a guy by the name of Matthias Grunewald. And in this masterpiece, it's a triptych painting, meaning three parts, Grunewald paints John the Baptist pointing to Jesus. So you've got Jesus on the cross. And of course, John the Baptist wasn't really at the crucifixion, but there is the Baptist pointing to Jesus. And there's an an inscription on the painting. It's in Latin, and it comes from the Gospel of John. And it's this notion that he must increase and I must decrease. And to look at that painting each and every morning has become a daily discipline to me to remind me that it's, it's all about him. It's all about pointing to Jesus. I ask myself every single morning, will this be the day that I point to Jesus or to myself? Will I spend my hours pointing my stuff to God's stuff or will I 
take the credit for myself? Will I make this the day that I give up my castle for God's kingdom? This is really important because as leaders, we are called to face the crucified Christ. And we have to wrestle with the question of what will we give up to that Christ? Because if we're not prepared to, to lead our church or our team or our family or ourselves and point it all back to Christ, we have lost what it means to being together with God. And this whole idea of collaboration and movement, it needs to start there. Let me ask you a very simple question. Is Jesus enough? No, really. Is Jesus enough for all that you do? Only when we can say, indeed he is, can we be together with God.